Hello and welcome to this online tutorial on primary prevention of cancer. Today we'll be discussing appropriate nutrition and physical activity guidelines for cancer prevention. We'll discuss the importance of fruits, vegetables, and nutrients like carotenoids, antioxidants, and folate for cancer prevention. You'll also hear about the harmful effects of processed foods and red meats on colorectal cancer risk. As always, take a moment to leave a comment and tell us what you learned. So let's get started. According to the American Cancer Society, here's what you should do in order to minimize your cancer risk. First, maintain a healthy weight throughout life, balancing energy intake and energy expenditure. You can do this best by adopting a physically active lifestyle. The CDC recommends at least 60 minutes of activity per day for children and adolescents. Adults should work out for at least 30 minutes a day. Next, eat a healthy diet consisting primarily of plant foods. Five or more servings of fruits and vegetables are recommended on a daily basis. Lastly, women should not consume more than one drink per day, if any, and men should not exceed two per day. Here, we outline the steps to take when counseling a patient to lose weight. As we just reviewed, maintaining a healthy weight is important for reducing cancer risk. So if your patient is considered overweight or obese with a BMI of 25 or greater, you should follow these instructions. First, see if the patient is willing to talk about weight issues. Then decide if the patient is ready to take steps to control weight. Does the patient express a willingness to make changes, set goals, and seek your assistance? If so, have the patient set a weight loss goal. Aim for a 5 to 10% weight reduction over the next six months. Lastly, focus on healthy eating and increased physical activity. Follow up at the next visit to discuss progress and barriers to change. Plant-based foods decrease the risk of several cancers. Take a look at the body and note what types of cancers are less common with higher consumption of fruits and vegetables. Also, don't forget to use whole grains, which can offer more fiber, minerals, and other beneficial compounds than their refined flour counterparts. Cruciferous vegetables are named for their cross-shaped blossoms. They contain anti-carcinogenic compounds like indoles and isothiocyanates. These reduce cancer risk by activating phase II enzymes, which detoxify carcinogens. Carotenoids in fruits and vegetables are potent antioxidants and reduce the risk of epithelial cancers. Beta-carotene is the best known food source, but lycopene and lutein are comparable sources of carotenoids. These are found primarily in green, yellow, orange, and red fruits and vegetables. Do not try to get carotenoids from supplements because this does not reduce cancer risk. Folate is a B vitamin that reduces cancer when it comes from foods. It is required in several metabolic pathways important in DNA synthesis. Folate is found in green vegetables, citrus fruits, and dried beans. Finally, it's important to limit the intake of processed foods and red meats as high dietary levels increase the risk of colon cancer. This concludes our tutorial on primary prevention of cancer. For more detailed information, go to our website at www.nutritionandmedicine.org. It only takes a couple of minutes, and then you'll be registered for free access to any of our online educational materials. Thanks for listening, and check back for more tutorials in the near future.